Good morning, this is Ken Long at Tortoise Capital with a quiz narrative on the MACD 10 minute uh, 1035 uh, frame, uh, framework. So this is a, a new implementation of the RLCO and Bollinger Band framework but applied on 10 minute charts and looking at the MACD as a way to uh, replicate the signals we get in the RLCOs for those of you that don't have access to moving linear regressions. So I'm using MACD 1030 with a five period experiential moving average is the white line and then I've placed a 30 period Bollinger Band plus or minus one standard deviation on the um, exponential moving average. So that's a 30 period Bollinger Band on the white line. So what I want you to notice is that in, in um, this is about three days worth of data and um, the, the signal gets generated when the white line rejects the southern skin of the dragon or the, the river in the, I should say and then uh, goes down until we get an RLCO outside of the uh, outside of the river. It looks like a lava river to me, so shaded red. Right? And so that sets up this trade of um, this breakdown, which we would see as a collapsing dragon in our standard construction. And you'd be short around 5650 and you'd be covering either here or here, either at the entry or at the close of the day at 55.75 on maybe a 30 cent risk. So that would be a high payoff trade and very directional. One of the reasons we choose Mexico is because it exhibits extreme directionality compared to other indices, which makes it a great frog candidate, a frog champion, in fact. So that's the kind of target I like to be concentrating on during the day are ones that have a natural tendency to be very directional intraday and Mexico is one of those. At the end of this trade, I want you to just notice some potential entry points here when the RLCO happens and it begins to enter the river when when it exits the river. Either one of those is a frameable and justifiable entry, and you can see the sharp move that you get back to the RL270. Similar thing happens today when we have a departure from the Bollinger Band River up here. This breakdown corresponds with, again, a rejection of the Bollinger Band mean and the departure of the Lava River. It's just easier to see, I think, in the, with the lines now. The more and more I look at this, you could even argue up in here, there's a, there's a trade frame as well, and that's easy to see. Uh, really, the quiz now is, uh, is this the justification for this entry. So this entry looks very much like this entry over here, this posture, after a unambiguous move down and then a, um, a bottom is put in and some price improvement and we would see probably an owl pattern if we have the full RLCO framework on here but in terms of a simplified dashboard I just want you to notice the opportunities that are abundant and the kinds of simplified signals you can use to drive this car down the road and that this is my favorite pattern here where it rejects and I can get short and then it covers and I'm just going back to a, a retest of reasonable prices and what I've shown here I would not be surprised if this thing got to 5650 or 5675 uh, today because it had been there recently and those are expected areas of resistance anyway and on this one if I get a uh, move below 5575 I'm short and then my targets are way over here to 55.50 and by that time I'll be at no lose plus dinner for two and then a move below 55.50 uh, becomes a massively good move uh, and you could see another one of these large downward moves in in Mexico. Uh, so it's Ken Long from Tortoise Capital with a trade frame narrative using the MACD 10 minute framework using parameters 10, 30, and 5 and simplified RLCO BB framework. Thanks for your kind attention.